Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft video here on the Ore Hunt server. I believe this is episode number four four five here it is episode number five i should mention right at the start that this is also another hashtag ad as i've mentioned in the previous four episodes if you guys want to join me again ips on screen as well is in the description below now today i've got some awesome things plans P -p plans planned as you can see a lot of my crops have grown in i had my alt afk here while i simultaneously afk'd at the slash afk area earning some stuff that i don't have in my inventory earning some afk points so i could buy some stuff which i'll be showing you in a second i do probably want to go around and farm up all of my crops i did not level this up which is good because i didn't actually want to level it up without you guys being here or i guess seeing it and like I said, I do have some plans. I'll be going over that very shortly. Hopefully I can get around to all of it. I know my main goal is I want to dive into that quest and potentially one of the challenge things that I have. I did also do some organization. I don't know if I mentioned that. I put the wheat farm over here. Obviously the potatoes, carrots. I organized that a bit, changed this up. And I mean, that's pretty much it. Oh, my, uh, my tool actually just hit the right level and I caught crop explosion um i'm sorry what i guess we'll find out when it procs but unfortunately i don't think that's gonna be now i will definitely afk over i guess overnight or whenever and see if we can get a lot of crops going so i can actually test that in chan out wait a minute i didn't even look at the 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 the, the, the texture look at that dude these custom textures are freaking insane man like this looks like some, like some modded stuff like this is dope but that's enough of the farming. I want to go ahead and go over my plans today. Now, I've set some things down here that I may want to get into. Maybe not in this video, but maybe in the future. I want to just roll some pickaxe enchants to try and get a, a pickaxe better than this one. Mainly, I want to get the explosion enchant and try that out. So I've got four enchants here. Or sorry, four pickaxes here. This one I could get to level 60. These I could get to their respective level 20 and then 40. I could also just keep claiming pickaxe kits, but... Honestly, I got pretty lazy, but I will probably do that in the future. I have some keys I want to open, and I have the highest experience bottle you can get in the AFK shop. That is 1.1 million, if I'm not mistaken. Did I not buy the fishing rod's highest one? No, I'm sorry. The fishing rod one is just lower. I'm going to be throwing them on the tools. I will start with the kind of least exciting one, which is the sickle, and see how many levels that gets it. Level 63, I have efficiency 7 on it. And actually, something I realized that I could test out, do boosters add to it? Let's go ahead and throw on the fishing rod, which is actually less experience. It's kind of sad. It went up to level 79. I want to go ahead and do the sword next. The sword is actually only at 53, so it should hit 60 or close to it. Uh... It sure did. Let's see what we got. Well, it, gave, it got like no enchants from leveling up. It went to all the way to 60. That's like what? Seven levels? And it also got the enchant EXP times three. That is hype as hell. Now, this tool is far off from 80, so I highly doubt this is going to do anything. But let's go ahead and see. It is level 68. It went to 70. Yeah, only two levels. But it also got loot bonus and blocks. I guess more efficiency. I'm gonna go and open up these crates. I didn't even mention the fact that I got all of these vines, by the way. I got a lot of them and I was like, yeah, I, th I think that's good. I, th I think I've got enough. I've got, of course, six AFK jewels, which I also wanna check out. I'm gonna go ahead and do that here in a second here. I've got enough challenge shards and I've got these, which I'm gonna be spending on the quest here in a second. I've got everything I need to rank up. I'm also going to be doing that probably before I actually go and check out that quest. But before that, let's go ahead and open these up. I'm just going to go ahead and skip it because honestly, I don't need to see what crate I get. I did in fact get all tier ones. I mean, it's like an, what, an 80% chance. So from that, I got an XP experience booster, which I cannot pop right now. That's unfortunate, but I'll add it up there. I also got some PVP gear. My pants actually don't have my name on them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Also got a tier two crate. So let's go ahead and open that up. Of course, I'm just going to skip it. We got a another helmet, which is actually better. I mean, I'm not too bothered, but I'll take it. We got some more rabbit spawners, which I think I, I mean, eh, you know. Eh. Oh, I didn't even realize. I have five of these in here. And then a bunch of them in I, well, I had a bunch of them in here, and I have them on me. So what this does, it's a rare uh, chance of getting it through AFK. 
and you can get the jewel crate and i have no idea what this does i just know that you can get it so i'm gonna go ahead and see what this jewel crate is uh okay so we can get a two percent chance at any piece of the rainbow gear we can get a tier two mystery crate key plot buff one day small rune small rune mobs and that one was ores rune package and enchant for tools let's go ahead and open it and see what it does premium item upgraded random enchant percentage chance on your tool by one percent affects only the special enchants this item could only be used on tools level 80 i don't even have a tool that that could work on quite yet i'm gonna probably save that for my uh my pickaxe here because i think that's the one i would like to use even though i don't do a whole lot of mining now next on my list i gotta go speak to harry i've got his 10 common fish yo my guy what's up uh sir uh sir wait do i have to do the quest why is there a trial mod staring at me it's intimidating okay i guess i restarted it deliver 500 coal to harry out of coal too i promise this will be the last favor i ask you hmm really i mean that's fine that is good because i did want to do some mining so that actually lines up with my uh my little rank up here in a second let's go ahead and see what we get up uh, the gear not really surprised i think gear is the most common thing you can get out of that but let's go ahead i actually gotta, 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 gotta grab the items out of here and then we can do a fat rank up we are finally gonna hit expert one I have no idea if I'm going any higher today. Oh, I don't meet the big heads. Oh, my bad. Let me go back to my plot. I forgot about the big heads. Let's go ahead and sell these drops for 200 and, you know, 200, almost 300,000. That's not bad. Let's go ahead and get a fat rank up going to expert one. And we got three more of these, which honestly, I can't be bothered to really, like, mess with them. I'm just going to go for it. I think the coal mine or the caver, the caveman mine might be the best for getting coal. So let me check this out. Yes, this will be perfect for getting coal as coal is the only thing in here. So you needed 500 coal. And if I'm being honest with you, I don't exactly know how much that is. I would say probably around seven stacks of coal. Oh, Mr. Harry, I have all of your coal. I would like to speak to you and give it to you. You do not have any. So it turns out I wasn't entirely off. Seven stacks is about how much I need. However, it's like 7.8 stacks, which means I basically needed eight stacks. And we already have enough. I literally touched like this small area. And now we go back to Harry, speak to him, and he will take the coal. Mm -hmm. Oh. So now I gotta speak to Robert? Oh, I'm dumb. Robert is literally right here. Hey, you know you look like Harry? I I mean Welcome. Harry told me I knocked my pop over. My name is Robert, and I've lived in Stone Age my whole life. Unfortunately, I am very old and I need a lot of help from you. I can tell you some stories about this village and the grandiose. Even make some tea and some bread. If I give you a seed, could you grow it and bring me the wheat? At least he's offering me a free seed. It would be how to cook. Cool. Deliver 10 wheat to Robert. That is probably something I will do another time. I can't be bothered to wait for wheat to grow. So we're going to try out one of these challenges. I tried one before and I couldn't do it. Now I think I'll be able to now. Hopefully 750 iron. I think I can do that. Let's uh, uh Warp the mines. I gotta go gotta go I think the noble mine will be my best bet seeing as it has iron as the icon I'm gonna assume that it's mostly iron. It is not um, maybe the next mine. Yeah, this will work Yeah, this has a lot of iron. I think hopefully how many do I have to mine? Um 750 was there a lot of iron in the uh, what is it the VIP mine or whatever? Actually, I think this might be worse. I think there's more lapis as well, which means, well, less iron. I have a feeling I'm not accomplishing this goal. Like, I do not see myself actually being able to do this. I think I would need haste to be able to do this. Maybe I should have did mob killer. Obviously, it would have sucked if I got something that I couldn't kill right now. But if I got something I could, uh, treasure find. I got one shard. Well, at least I got a refund on my challenge shards. I think I may try a different one. Maybe I'll try one of the mob kills or I guess something else. But I feel like mob kills will be my best bet. I guess you could technically do math with it as well. I'm breaking 1.7 a second roughly on average. 
I guess if we like roughly round up to two per second, it would be about 600, I think, in five minutes. It wouldn't even be 750, which is unfortunate. Like even if I hit um, two blocks a second, it's just, it's not happening. And time is up. I broke 417. That is unfortunate. I think I do want to do mob kills. Let me go ahead and warp to plot and get prepared. Let's go ahead and do slash quest here into the quest menu. Please give me something good. I'm going to do, you know what? I'm doing another million. Let's go for it. I have to kill 600 chickens. Oh, you better believe I'm going to kill 600 chickens in five minutes. Is it five minutes? <laughs> I'm already almost halfway there. It's not even been a minute. Oh, I completed the challenge? That really? I made 1.8 million. So technically, I lost 200,000 today from challenges. But in the end, can I actually do a rank up? No, I, I, I think I can if I get pig heads. Kind of want to, if I'm being honest with you. I know I said I wouldn't, but I've only done one rank up today. Let's go for it. I need 56 pig heads. Oh boy. I can actually go ahead and sell all of my drops for actually a good bit of money like that is insane money farming uh cacti and these guys are insane money let's go ahead and go to the vip mine i'm just going to shred anything i can until i get a singular meteorite oh we actually already got one that was super quick let's go ahead and sell it all um where was i putting these i was putting these in here and let's go ahead and rank up i'm gonna go ahead and also check out this mine today i am actually having a fantastic time on the server again if you guys haven't yet ip down below the face cam and in the description we finally have access to beautiful diamonds oh they're only diamond ores diamond ingot ore nice dude can i can smelt and condense them and sell them for more though let's do a little test i've got 22 of them if i go ahead and sell them or want to sell them it is 14,000. However, I can smelt and condense them. Will they? They will sell for slightly more. I think this mine is actually better than the VIP mine, which again, I actually really appreciate that. I like the fact that the VIP mine is not meant to be a mine that you always use. It's cool, but I like the fact that you have a better mine to work towards. So far, mining, it's one of my favorite things to do, mainly in OP style prisons. Um, it's not the worst in this. But there's just so much better content on this server, which isn't a bad thing, honestly. It's rare for me to see a server, or particularly a Prisons-esque server, have other content I enjoy. Usually it's just the mining aspect. In this one, the mining, it's a little slow for my taste, but maybe it'll speed up as I go along. Maybe I just don't have the right enchants, which in the next one, we will actually be combating that because I will actually be throwing some levels onto some of those other pickaxes to see if I can potentially get uh, explosion on one. Now, I've mined up a good bit. I'm going to go ahead, do slash sell. Let's condense everything, and let's go ahead and sell it for 161000 It's not bad. I think, honestly, the, the, the only thing that makes this um, not as efficient for making money is how slow it is for me. Oh, yeah, I want to go ahead and see real quick, what's my next rank up? So I will need cows. I will need cow heads and vines. I think I actually have the vines. I just don't have the cow heads. If I had put down these cow spawners, I probably honestly would go for that right now. However, I have not. Do I do I be a mad lad? Do I try and go for the rank up right now? Ooh, I don't know, man. It seems almost worth it, but I don't know. It's, I can't afford it. Never mind. <laughs> I'm looking at my money. I cannot afford it at all. But that's it for this video. I'm going to AFK, let some of the stuff grow in. Um, I might farm a bit of it to get some more vines. I might mine a little bit to get some more meteorites. And I am probably going to spend a lot of time in the AFK area because in the next one, I want to take these pickaxes and I think I want to throw a fat experience bottle on all three of them. But that's it. Hope you guys did enjoy. Again, links are all in the description or below the face cam. Join me on the server. It is an absolute blast. Again, thank you, Mindtree, for sponsoring this video. I will see you guys in the next one.